the new star path for Disney parks, we all got encouraged to create our own. So today, we are creating our very own playful and beautiful Dreamlight Park. Hi everyone, I'm Cupcake and the first thing we're starting with today is our beautiful Mickey shape with these yellow dark treats at the entrance to complement our castle's colors and our deep green forest of Balor bushes. This Mickey shape will hold our entire park and will make our aerial photos look just amazing. Now, I'm doing this in the peaceful meadows, but feel free to do it wherever you have space. Speaking about space, I am spacing these bushes in a way that don't block people's path so our villagers can get by easily. And that include ourselves. It's true that our area is not perfectly rectangular and the ponds might get in our way, but nothing is perfect in this life, so we don't need to be perfect either. Although, I really hope we could move this pond sometime in the near future. I am so sorry for the fog, but Maui didn't want to help me change the weather. He said I needed to sing the rap part of his song and... Well, <laughs> let's just say I'm still working on it. <laughs> Mickey shape done. Now, I want to place the pixel pile around and maybe the hedges before placing the path, just to be mindful of the quantity as we will need a lot of brick rock path. To place it, I am just going through the edges of our Mickey shape, just trying to have the hard corners hidden below the bushes. I feel this activity is a lot like those old children's books, where you would use a pencil to join the numbered dots. Oh my god, am I too old to be doing this? <laughs> anyway, once we mark all the edges, filling the interior sections would be much easier, definitely. Let's continue with the decoration of our entrance with these plaza trees, dressing our castle with the It's a Small World pillars, maybe more pillars on some of the edges as well. You can use whichever path you want, but I believe the brick rock path is the easiest to grind for. Let's include these two enchanted fountains and pampas grass jugs, some more jello underbush, and we're using the giant clams. Not as actual clumps, but more as decorations, as they suit the castle colors very nicely. Also, adding two yellow and white flower rectangles, our magical balloon bundles, and light it up with these bedside neon decorations, so it looks awesome at night as well. Awesome. Let's add this 100th anniversary rug at the entrance and one on the side. You'll see why in a moment, but first let me add some benches, magical balloons in between the benches and near the pillars as well. For those who love photos, we'll add a videoscope and a celebrating friendship statue for our special photoshoot area. And just cleaning up the path edges with small plaza stone clusters all around the pond. For the right side, we're including a souvenir area with some magical recyclers that honestly will be awesome to have in real life a magical keepsake cart, selling souvenirs and ceremony day gifts.
for all the plushie lovers, <clears throat> me, we'll also have a plushie style of course, very simple, but you definitely won't miss it. Let's clean the edges of these ponds as well and maybe make some ferns. While I do that, have you put together your Dreamlight Park yet? Let me know in the comments. I feel I've been doing this star path super fast lately and I should probably slow down and enjoy them a bit longer. I'll start with the left Mickey ear actually by placing this Dumbo the flying elephant game. Mark the start of the line with some fences and adding more bedside neon lights all around. And I'm sure anybody will be hungry afterwards, hopefully not before, <laughs> because we don't want any accidents. So we're adding this dangerous food stall counter over here. Of course more benches because we already have 25 villagers here and I'm pretty sure the lines will start getting long and people will want to rest their feet, especially because the pull around takes ages to stop. In fact, I've never seen it stop. <laughs> but anyway, we are also adding green, yellow and white balloon clusters just because the colors suit the benches well. For the back entrance, we're repeating the pattern by adding another 100th anniversary rug, more pillars, balloons, and neon lights. This will not be perfectly symmetrical, but we're going to make a trick on the eye so it looks like nothing's wrong. Because nothing is wrong, okay? <laughs> then we will also mark the start of the line for our power rounds and maybe a couple of magical recyclers. I'm sure Woody will love living in this place. We'll add a wrought iron arch, a couple of quirky floor lamps, mark the start of the line with some fencing. Probably just one footstall will not be enough. So we are including a snack stall as well, with some tables and stools. We'll sell these cute little popsicles, caramel apples recipe from our favorite chef Remy, and some refreshing boba tea. I feel when you get to the farthest corner of any amusement park, it's mostly because you're lost and need to rest your feet. <clears throat> Never happened to me. So let's add some benches, maybe a lamp and a sunbird feeder so you have a companion help you get unlost. <laughs> let's not forget our main lighting with these blue round lamp posts. Just spread around through our dreamlight park. Just here and there. Adding a couple of celestial pennant lights. In my next video, I will be making a beautifully magical fairy tale area that you can't miss. Having a dreamlight park in the valley will definitely lift the spirits of our villagers, especially Mini, as she seems to be feeling a bit down since she came back from the here and there. Feel free to give a like if you liked this video and subscribe only if you're interested in more of course. Thank you all for watching and I really hope you have a very sweet day.